I was going to do an earnings video today and then I decided screw Disney, Twitter, and most of the companies reporting earnings this week because there are better stocks to focus on. Last week, the big techs reported and the results were mixed. Google announced strong earnings and a 20 for one split shot up and then traded down. I'm happy to see it coming down a little bit and I might be buying it soon. Then we've got Facebook and they screwed the pooch and left an awful stench on the entire market. And finally, Amazon reported earnings and it shot up. But when I read the report, I saw a lot of red flags that Wall Street is ignoring. I had a lot of people ask me what to do with Amazon and if I owned Amazon, as long as it was going up, I would take those profits. But at the first sign of a pullback, I would take my profits and run. Of course, what you do is completely up to you. So in researching today's video, I was looking at the major names like Disney, Twitter, Zillow, Peloton, and Digital Turbine, and I decided screw it. Let's focus on stocks that look great right now because the stocks reporting earnings this week have by and large been sucking wind. So instead, let's focus on six stocks that are ripping right right now, just fired by signal. But first, let's go over a quick success story from our Discord. Freaky Trout Share stopped out on Arch Resources for a one week 10% gain, still in a weekly squeeze and will look for a new entry to rinse and repeat. For those that don't know, Arch Resources is the second largest coal producer in the United States and they have a 51% revenue growth forecast. Right now, the world is experiencing an energy crisis, so playing energy stocks makes a lot of sense. A lot of people might think coal is boring, but making a 10% weekly profit is phenomenal. Way to go, Freaky Trout, and thanks for sharing. And if you'd like to get our trade alerts, hot stocks, and custom indicators, join our Discord. This is where all of the live action happens, and we have an amazing community of active investors. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. The trend is your friend is something that we hear constantly as stock investors and investing can be as simple as find a train going where I want to go and buy a ticket. A lot of companies are reporting earnings this week and if you look at the charts, ask yourself if these are trains you want to ride. Here's Twitter, Disney, Peloton, and Zillow. All of these trains are running the wrong direction and the best plays on them lately have been bearish plays or going short. And maybe they report great earnings and reverse their trends, but if you don't know how to play a falling stock, then it's better to focus on stocks that are winning in today market. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you six stocks that are not only trending the right direction, but they just fired buy signals as well. You might be wondering, how do I find these winning stocks? I've created stock scanners that search the entire stock market to identify and match stocks that meet a very specific set of criteria. And this allows us to work with a more manageable list of stocks that are performing well so we can increase the probability of success. Five of the six stocks that we're covering today are in the energy sector, and this is what's hot in the markets right now. The nice thing about the screeners I set up are they have no bias, so we often discover stocks and niches that we otherwise would not even see. If you like what I do, then give this video some YouTube love and subscribe if you have not already. All right, let's jump into the charts for some real winners. First on today is Diamondback Energy, ticker FANG. Let's start at the top with our TOS bar, and this tells us how much the stock has changed over different time periods. So in one week, they're up 2.6%, one month, 11.8%, six months, 65%, and one year, 105%. They also pay a small 1.5% dividend yield. What I like is Diamondback Energy, they've got a revenue forecast of 138.1%, which is very strong, and their net profit margin for the most recent quarter is 35%. Now, this buy signal that we're looking at is the J5, and you can see how it's performed over time, and this is one of the buy signals that we've got. Up next on our Momentum Dream Indicator, we've got something I really like. It's in what's called a Momentum Squeeze, and that's these red bars here. And the last time we had the squeeze, it went sideways for a good while, and then when it popped, it had a real nice movement from 107 all the way up to 135, and we're hoping for something similar again. And then if we come down to our Buy Sell Indicator, we can see our short-term trend is bullish. We're in a buy zone, and and we just picked up a buy alert on Friday, and that's this buy signal right here. So we've got two very strong buy signals with the J5 and the buy sell indicator, and we're in a squeeze, which is a time that I like to buy. And this is one that I actually did end up buying on Friday. I've got a new position, and you can see I'm up 0.1%. We're now looking at Holly Frontier, and these guys are a petroleum refiner in the U.S. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 54.3%. We can see in one week they're up 4.4%, one month 10.3%, and over the last six months they're up 26%. Looking at the chart here, we just picked up a J5 buy signal that I like. And then looking at our Momentum Dream Indicator, our momentum is up. The moving averages are stacked in our favor, and we're right down here at the zero line, which is something that I like to see. And if we come back and look at our last buy signal and run it straight up, we can see the price was right around 
32 or 33 dollars it shot up to 38 dollars and if we go back to the buy signal before that right here we've got a very similar story here where we were coming in right around 31 dollars and it went all the way up to 38 dollars again so we've got multiple buy signals love it and let's just assume that you wanted to make a buy on Holly Frontier. Then we've got our risk management bar, and this is telling us if you've got a $25,000 account and you don't want to risk more than 5%, that would be $1,250. And then it asks what I call the golden question. Will I risk $119 and buy 34 shares for $1,242? Our target price would be $43.53. It recommends a trail stop of 10%, and our profit per share minimum that we want is $6.99. And if you're wondering why you're only risking $119, that's because you'd be putting in a 10% trail stop, and that's the risk management bar. And if you'd like to get any of my indicators, there's a link down in the description below. We're now looking at Pro Petro, ticker PUMP, and these guys are an oil field services company, and they provide high pressure pumping and other related services for the oil industry. We can see in one week they're up 8.2%, one month 24%, and over six months 53%. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 10.6%. Here's our J5 buy signal, and we also picked up a buy signal on our buy sell indicator. Now, these guys have been doing very well, but I see these as more of a seasonal play, and there's definitely still time to get one more play in them for this this season in my humble opinion, but I do prefer a stock like FANG over this one, but I wanted to include it because we just picked up multiple buy signals on it. Susana was our one non-energy play and their ticker is SUZ and they produce and sell eucalyptus pulp and paper products in Brazil and internationally. Looking at their TOS bar in one week they're up 3% and over three months they're up 29%. They do have a revenue growth forecast of 31.5%. Here's our J5 buy signal. We're also in the buy zone on the momentum dream indicator and we just picked up a buy signal on our buy sell indicator. Whiting Petroleum is ticker WLL. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 67.1%. In one week, they're up 7%. One month, 15.5%. Six months, 73%. And over one year, 203%. And on the chart, we can see they've got multiple J5 buy signals. Nice set of railroad tracks trending up. And then if we come down to the Momentum Dream Indicator, we are in a squeeze, which we love. If we look at our last squeeze, it was a very long one. It went sideways for a good while. And then once it popped out of that squeeze, it went from around $65 all the way up to $79 and we're hoping for something similar here as well and then down on our buy sell indicator we just picked up a buy signal as well so multiple buy signals Last but not least is EOG Resources, ticker EOG. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 86.2% and they market crude oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquids. Now we can see we just picked up a J5 buy signal here. And what I wanna show you is how I play these signals. If we look at the last time we had a big series of J5 signals, everything was going up and we were basically on the green on green zone, which we love to buy. And then right here we can see we went red on red. Now whenever our momentum and our buy sell indicator are showing red, that's normally when I like to wait for things to come back down and reset at the zero line. So if we follow the stock price, even though we had a couple of buy signals, our momentum was telling us, hey, be a little bit cautious. So everything went sideways for a little bit and then down. And then you can see we hit a squeeze. We hit green on green with a buy signal. And then we had a J5 buy signal and it took off. So if we look at our current indicators, we can see that the momentum dream is currently in the red zone. So this is a little bit of a warning. And then on our bottom indicator, we can see we are green. So what I'm doing on a stock like this is I am waiting for and hoping that these numbers come down closer to the zero line and then we get a reset of green on green and then a buy signal. So I would personally wait on this J5 buy signal, but that's gonna be completely up to you. We can also see that they do pay a 2.6% dividend yield as well. As always, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want my indicators, free stocks, or free crypto, check out my links in the description down below. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.